Hey, it's Jen with another Tech Tips 411 quick tip. Today I'm going to show you how you can use not one, but two or multiple cameras inside of Zoom. So once you've joined a Zoom call, you might realize that you want to share not just your webcam where you're facing the camera on a laptop or desktop. Maybe you want to have a second camera so you can have another angle inside of your classroom. This is a great way to engage learners, not with just front facing talk, but also the ability for students to see what you're engaged in. I'm going to show you how easy it is once you connect a second camera to have it show up in Zoom. I have my webcam, which I'm using right now, and I've also installed another camera. So there's two ways you can do this. The first way is I can toggle down here very easily and select this arrow and I can select any of the cameras that I have connected. So right now I'm using my virtual camera with OBS. And if you want to know how to use a virtual camera with OBS, I'm going to link the video up here so you can check that out. But if I want to toggle to my Hue HD camera, I'm going to select that. And as you see, it's activated a secondary camera. Now, the benefit of this is that I can use it to show documents. I can use it to show those experiments and to engage the learners in a lesson. So that's one way I can toggle it down here. That's kind of cool but I'm gonna show you an even better way to engage your learners. So I'm gonna go back over here and go back to my main camera. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna to go to share a screen. When I choose to share a screen, I have a few options here. I can share my whole screen, one and two, my whiteboard. But if I go over to this advanced and I have an option here, it says content from a second camera. Watch what happens here. I'm gonna to click to share. Now my primary camera is up here and now I have this window and I can switch up here in the upper left hand corner through the other cameras that I have installed. So I have several of them so I can just toggle through. And as you can see, now that second camera is the primary thing that is on the screen for students inside of Zoom. So that means you can show what's going on in your classroom or you can highlight again science experiment or something else. This is a great way to engage students and all I have to do is I can toggle from which camera I want. So they can still see me over here, the front facing camera, but they can also see what's happening inside of the room, such as a, a science experiment or modeling using the document camera. I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop share. You might be wondering, well, why would I wanna do this? And, and how hard is this to do? If you're using a laptop, it's very easy if you have an integrated camera to add a second camera very easily. It could be a document camera or it could be an external webcam your computer is going to recognize it because it's plug and play and it's going to appear as one of your camera options. So many ways that you can use this to level up your instruction for Zoom, especially if you're simultaneous teaching and you've got roomies and zoomies, meaning you've got students that are in the room with you physically and students that are in the Zoom and that way that they can engage in instruction and, and it will feel more cohesive. There you go. That's how to use multiple cameras inside of Zoom very easily. If you found this tip beneficial, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Thank you so much for watching.